main tower. Without all the torches. I can't relight them. No, basically zombies. Out of my way. I can see here well enough. I think it's better to just move rapidly. Wait, wait, there was a. Uh, okay, you can go up from there. Power potion. There's just zombies here. It's nothing really dangerous going to happen. Curved sword. A knight's weapon. I'm going without cheese. <sighs> ah, fairly simple. A lot of noise in the darkness, but no actual danger to bag it up. Uh, this is another matter. I'm stuck. God damn, I'm stuck. And what the fuck was the special attack anyway? Our greatest danger really is lack of movement space. Everything else we can quite easily get over with, but that. Oh yeah, a demon. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I tried to escape, but yeah. mm. don't have all that much health. I probably are forced to use some kind of a health potion. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. After defeating the enemy, Erish Kigal 
Ward's life withered away from the perilous wounds he suffered in battle. His devoted friends carried his body to the temple of the goddess and entombed him there, close to the stone altar where the sword had been laid. As the shrine was closed, four beautiful gemstones magically appeared on the ground. A white opal, an aquamarine, a black obsidian stone, and an amber gem in an oval shape. Each friend made a promise to keep the secrets of the gems and decided to leave signs so they could retrieve the sword and use it to destroy evil once again. So we have about 2,000 health, that should do it. Yeah, that's, that's the way to do it. What the fuck are you doing? He has a shield that drains life when I hit it. He has a weapon that drains the lives as he hits me. Our potion is protecting me quite well. I'm not taking all that much damage from his attacks. Is assured because my lord is invincible! <laughs> 